Southbound team, they left Newry this morning at 10 o'clock en route to their headquarters on the outskirts of Dublin where they'd have their pre-match meal. Our cameras have travelled with them and how they're feeling we can find out very shortly. Spent as you were for down for the fourth championship game in a row. 11 of the 91 side are back today with all the new boys playing with supreme confidence. Add to them the promptings of Greg Blaney, the incisive running of Mickey Linden, and the free-taking skills of Gary Mason. Then you can see why the Down supporters are so confident today. Looking for support, now it's Greg and McCartan. Hit by Moran. Didn't flinch. Still McCartan. Down's first attack. Down's first score. Greg and McCartan, the Bally Martin man who scored 10 points in the championship, gets down off to a lead after two and a half minutes. While Gregory McGartan had the ball in the middle of the field and was getting past that challenge, Nathan Farrell had made it, taken up a great position in the corner, but such is the confidence of Gregory McGartan, he went for his own score. And then Greg Blaney, and now pumped into the spaces. Linden's there, and Linden's got it. Just look at that for balance. The shadow ever goes over the bar. The angle here didn't appear to favor the shot, but the white flag indicates that Mickey Linden from Mayo Bridge has brought the size level. Post. Here comes Ross Carr. What about that? Absolute perfection. Struck over with very little effort. Steadies himself. Eyes the target. He scored one already. He's now scored two. And with double scores. Ball went out of play. Drilled down towards James McCartan. A very intelligent pass. It's Mickey Linden versus O'Leary. Linden pass it on simply. James McCartan drives it home. But once again, Linden is a man. Linden is a provider. And down get a vital score in this year's All-Ireland Final. Brilliantly engineered. And up come the down supporters. Brilliantly flicked into the path of Mickey Linden here. McGart was inside him, he knew he was there. There's a slight dummy, and it was all too easy for James McGart. This time it's Jack Sheedy, straight into the path of Greg Blaney. It's all down at the moment. And there's a young man who has certainly made his contribution here today. Barely had a second to look up the post and drilled it between them. That score should lift Dublin. Out in the middle again, beautiful take by Conor Deegan. Deegan to Farrell, for once Farrell didn't hold it, but Deegan's in again. The man in the overlap is Guy Mason, getting in behind the Dublin full-back line. The kick and the run, the kick and the turn by Guy Mason. A brilliant score. Quickly cutting out the Dublin score of a moment ago. James McCartan, first to size up the situation. Player on the outside of the foot, Mickey Linden. Plenty of space for Linda Nobrit, and that's what he likes. The man in front is Paul Clark. However, the results the same. Mickey Linden gets away from him. Found it hard. Pulled by Clark, is he? If he is, he gets the kick in, gets it over the bar, and Mickey Linden has proven too hot to handle for the Dublin defence. Another brilliant individual score. Mickey Linden is torturing this D Dublin defence as are the rest of his forward colleagues. Sheer persistence here, half fouled a couple of times, kept going, and left or right foot. Under severe pressure, he gets it over. Five metres out. Collected by Steins. A little tackle, just enough to keep down the possession. Blaney foul, the fisted ball. Linden gently over the bar. Farrell and Linden combine, and this time it's Linden who puts it over. DJ Kane allows it to go to the Hall McGill. The one point man tries to find Mickey Linden. Barr versus Blaney. Blaney got there, and now it's Mickey Linden. Down of man over. Linden with the left foot. Goes alone. And why not? When you're as accurate as that. Now. The target man is Charlie Redmond. Johnny Barr is only into the action. Charlie Redmond. Matthias possession. It's a penalty. It's a penalty. The introduction of Johnny Barr. 
bar at the ball, give it to Redmond, and we have a penalty in Crook Park with just over 26 minutes gone. The ball got tested in there by Redmond, drawn on the ground, picked up again by Johnny Barr, and then Teddy Farr pulled down there. Referee Tommy Sugar on his way in, threw back his arms, and awarded Dublin a penalty. And the chance to equalise this with eight minutes remaining. Now, what a test for these two players, the goalkeeper and Charlie Redmond. Here comes Redmond, saved by Colin, and driven wide at the second attempt. It's no wonder that James McCartan left underneath Colin. Remember, the difference was a goal, and for the second time, Charlie Redmond misses a vital penalty. This is down to Neil Collins. Charlie tries to side put it to his left. And even on the rebound, DJ Kane, I think it was, was in to make it difficult to get a shot on target. Wide of the post. We'll be on it. Tommy Sugar calls for it. The Kingdom of Mourne celebrates. Down are the All Ireland champions for the fifth time and maintain this incredible record of having never lost an All Ireland final. An absolutely tremendous display by the down men. It must be remembered that they have to make do today with terrible conditions. And on the other side of the coin, we have terrible scenes of dejection from these Dublin players. John O'Leary can't believe that yet another chance has slipped by. He's following in a long line now of down captains Kevin Musson. Harry Doherty, Joe Lennon, Harry O'Rourke, and now it's DJ Kane who holds Sam aloft. Sam goes back to Ulster. Sam goes back to down. DJ Kane must be the proudest man in down at the moment. They played with scintillating skill in the first half and then with dogged determination in the second to bring Sam back to Newry and County Down yet again.